So we're going to discuss uh, different uh, lashenas, different uh, expressions of uh, kedushin, if they work to be mikadeshes, mikadesha woman. Tanarabanan, hareyat ishti, you're my wife. Hareyat arusasi, you're my arusa. Uh, that means you're the kedushin. Hareyat knuyali, you're acquired uh, by me. Mikadeshes, then it's mikadeshes. Hareyat shali, you're mine. Hareyat brushusi, you're my rishus. Hareyat kukali. You're uh, zakuk. You're uh, bound to be mine, mukudashas. So the Gemara asks. I don't understand. Again, we have six cases over here. We have a case of ishti, arusasi, and kenuya, and then the Brisa says mukudashas that it's a good kedushin. Then we have another three cases of shali, berushusi, and zkuka, and we say also mukudashas. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. Vilasninu kulu kichada. Why don't I just list them all together? And say Mikudashas at the end. Why after every three do I say Mikudashas? So the Gemara says, Tana, Tana, Tlas, Tlas, Shaminu. He learned three and then another three. Shaminu Vagarsinu. And that's the way he wrote it. So he learned the first three, he said Mikudashas. He learned another three, he said Mikudashas. Iboyilu. So the Gemara wants to know about more expressions of a man to marry a wife. And we want to know if it's good, if it's counted as Kedushan or not. Iboyilu. In fact, the Gemara, Mune Yeshiva had a question. Miuchedes Li. If you're miyuched, uh, Rashi says that miyuchedes, like you're one to me, it means v'ha'yilu echad. So we see from the Pasuk that echad is uh, an expression of marriage. Miyuchedes li, also from a different Pasuk, lo yu'adah is also an expression of marriage. Mahu. Ezrasi, like Ezer kenegdoi, you're my uh, partner, my help. Mahu. Negdasi, against me. Like uh, my uh, corresponding partner, Mahu Atsu Rasi. Rashi says it's a lotion of gathering in, Mahu Tzalasi. Tzalasi means uh, when Hashem took out the rib, and he did a, a surgery and then closed up afterwards. So we use any of these expressions. Is that also kedushin? Mahu Tzalasi, my rib. Sugurasi, closed. Mahu Tachti. Like, uh, because Hashem took out the, the tzela and then closed up the wound, takti instead of the tzela, that's how you got a wife. Is any of these ashayinus an expression of marriage? Is it good enough? Ma'u. Tufusasi, I'm typhus, that means like I hold you. Ma'u lukuchasi, you're my uh, acquisition, like buying ma'u. So the Gemara says, I don't know about all the, all the words that I use, all the expressions, but Pashat Miachad, at least one of them, we know for sure that it works. The Tanya Eimer Lukuchasi. Somebody says, you're my acquisition. Arezu Mekudashas. That's Mekudashas. Why? Mishim Shanemek Yikach Yishisha. Because we learned, uh, the Pasuk says, if you acquire a wife, if a man acquires a wife. So we see that Kicha, Yikach, Lukuchasi, is a Lashon of Kedushin. Okay. Now the Gemara wants to know another lashon. Yibayilu charufasi. If you say charufasi ma'u, so you say harei at charufasi. Is that a good kedushin or not? Tashma. Let's see. So the Gemara says Tashma. The Tanya. Ha'imer charufasi mikudashes. Somebody says charufasi. It is a good kedushin. A good kedushin. Why? She came by Yehuda. Kairin la'arusa charufa. In Yehuda, in the area of Yehuda, they call a charufa a arusa. So it's like you said harei at arusasi, which you said before that it's good. But in fact, the Gemara, I don't understand. You sta- you're standing someplace, uh, I don't know, in Canada, and you say, So you say that it's a good uh, condition. Why? Because in Yehuda, over there, in Yehuda, they call it a Rusa. In fact, the Gemara, Yehuda, have a the Alma. Why does the Yehuda um, um, establish what the word means? What does that have to do with some other part of the world? Are they most of the world to establish that? If most of the world uses Harufa as a Rusa, okay? But uh, what does Yehuda have to do with the rest of the world? So Gemara says, no, you're right. If somebody says Harufasi, then they're Mikudashes. Why? Shenamar, because it says in the Pasuk, So we see from this Pasuk that a Shifcha is uh, Mikudashes to a man. And another reason, Yehuda, Kairin al Arusa, Harufa. In Yehuda, they use Arusa for Harufa. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. So what happens like this? So the Gemara's second answer is that the truth is, how do I know that Harufa is a good uh, Kedushin? Because it says in the Pasuk. And also, because in Yehuda, they use Harufa as a Rusa. So the Gemara says, what do we need an also for a Pasuk? You make it sound like the Pasuk's not good enough. And also, we have another thing. Does nothing trumps the uh, Pasuk? If Yehuda v'aid l'kra, 
What do I need uh, more than uh, the pasuk for? Ella, the Gemara goes back. Not a very pasuk. Ella, come here. I am a charufa by Yehuda. If somebody says charufa in Yehuda, mukudeshes. Why? Because in the language of Yehuda, she can be Yehuda. Kareim arusa charufa. In Yehuda, it works. Why? Because in Yehuda, they use charufa for arusa. Okay. So now the chayra. <coughs> Uh, the next Gemara, it will explain that when I say all these unclear Lashainas and these expressions of Kedushan, the woman has to know what you're talking about. If she doesn't know what you're talking about, uh, then it's a problem. So um, one of the ways is that we're talking about that they're discussing a marriage. Kedushan or Gitan, the same Allah is by Gitan also, when I don't say something clear. Um, they're discussing it, meaning they're having a conversation about marriage, I want to get married, maybe propose, something like that, and um, and um, then he says this uh, lashon of, I don't know, Re'at uh, Kuchasi, or whatever it is. So Gemara says like this, what are you talking about with these uh, expressions that are not clear? Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so the Gemara says like this: "B'me'askinon, b'me'askinon. Ilema b'sheim edabri ma aliske get to the kedushin. If we're not talking about sheim edabri ma aliske get to the kedushin, they're not discussing get to the kedushin. Mino yada. How does she know what he's talking about? What's going on? He gives her something. She doesn't know what he wants." My comer, no yada, my comer law. The element of Davri and Malaska get to the Kedusha. Rather, you know, we're talking about a case over here that they are discussing it already. So if they're discussing it already, he can give something that's, uh, he can give it over and say something that's ambiguous. He doesn't know exactly uh, what's going on, but she'll figure it out. She understands. Avagab do yama law, nami. But the problem is, in that case, if we're discussing, if they are discussing Gitan and Kedushan, so then, even if you don't say anything at all, and you just give over money, you're discussing, okay, we're going to get married, and we're going to get married, and whatever it is, and he gives her a dollar, he gives her a ring. So then, that's good enough. He doesn't have to say, He doesn't have to say anything. How do we know? If he's discussing Gitan uh, and Kedushan with his future wife, and also like Gitan and Kedushan, then he gives her money, he gives her uh, a get, or he gives her money, and he does not explain why the, why he's giving the money. He doesn't say, he doesn't say anything. Rebbe says that it's good enough. Rebbe Hudaimer, that means it's good Kedushan. Rebbe Hudaimer, Tzarek Lafar, Shibuda says no. Right when you give it over, even if you're discussing it, even if the circumstances uh, shows dictates that um, that you that that it's for kedushin, you still have to say the words. You have to say arayat mukadeshesli, or you have to say something that's valid um, in place of arayat mukadeshesli. Vamar of Hunamar Shmuel, the lachas are the lachas are kerbeisi. Or Hunamar Shmuel said, the lachas are kerbeisi. So again. Let's back up again. We have cases that are not clear if it's Mekodeshus or not. So the Gemara says some are good, some aren't good. The Gemara asks, I don't understand, what are we talking about? If we're talking about a case that we're discussing, they have a conversation about Gitan and Kedushan, we, the Allah is like Rabbi Yaisi, and according to Rabbi Yaisi, you don't have to say anything. So if you don't have to say anything, definitely if you said something that's not so clear, it's definitely good. So the Gemara says, Lo ilam medabri imal is kegitiv kudushal. The truth is, we're talking about, they are, are having a conversation about the Gitan and Kedushan. The Diyah of Lava Shasik, and if he gave it and he kept his mouth uh, shut, hachinami, hachinami, you're right, then it would be good. That means if he didn't say anything, he, he didn't make it less clear, you're right, then it would be good. The problem over here is that if you're discussing a marriage and then you give over money, okay, so you didn't ruin it by giving over money and we understand what the money's for. However, over here, when you, the words that you said that were unclear, those words make it even worse. Why? Uh, because now the question with these unclear words are the problem over here is that maybe you're discussing marriage but then afterwards you added words that are unclear and maybe these words really mean for uh, work maybe it doesn't mean for Kedushin so therefore uh, maybe it makes it works okay we learned before that if you're discussing marriage and or divorce, and he gives it over the get or the kedushin, and he doesn't explain what it's for. Rabbi says it's good. Rabbi says you have to explain. 
What are we talking about when they're discussing marriage? <coughs> they're discussing um, the marriage itself. That means that, yeah, we're going to get married, and over here, and over there, and this time, we're going to invite people. They're talking about the marriage itself. Okay? So the says, Even if they're not talking about that marriage itself, it's also good. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. Again, we're talking about a case that they didn't have a discussion about marriage at all. I thought the Gemara just said that we need to be discussing marriage. If they're not discussing marriage, how does she know what's going on? You're sitting with a girl, and also you give her a dollar, you give her a ring. She doesn't know what it's for. So the Gemara says, My Kamala. How does he know what's going on? How does she know what's going on here? Amar Abaya. You know what it means that they're not discussing marriage? It means It means they're not discussing marriage uh, exactly marriage. What they're discussing is things about marriage. For instance, let's say they'll discuss uh, what type of furniture to get at the new home, where he wants to live, and all of a sudden he gives him money. It's not money for rent, it's not money for furniture, it's money for condition. <coughs> okay. Amar of Huna Mashmuel, Allah is like Rabbi Yasi. Allah is like that means that if you have a discussion uh, about marriage and then you just give her money, then uh, it's for Kedushan. Amar of Yemel Ravashi, Velahad Amar of Huna Mashmuel, Kosh any day, Bidiv Kibitiv, Gitim Kedushan, Lay Aesakimayim. We learned Allah that if somebody doesn't know uh, the Allah of Gitim Kedushan, he should not officiate, he shouldn't uh, do it. Um, what does that mean? Does it mean that he has to know every single detail, even this halacha, that if they discuss uh, marriage, then it means uh, for Kedushin? That means if a person didn't know, doesn't know the halacha, that if you're discussing marriage, then you give over money, that it's a good Kedushin, even without saying anything, he should not be Misad or Kedushin. Or Misad or Kedushin. Okay. V'chein v'geirishin. So we said, so too, and by Gerishin, we said different expressions, different Lashainas of what works. V'chein be Gerishin. Nasan la gitav amar Allah, harei et mushalachas, harei et mugereshas, harei et mutaras achal adam, harei yui mugereshas. Okay, if you use any of these Lashainas of uh, mugereshas, mushalachas, you're sent away, and you're divorced, or you're mutter to marry anybody, that is a good Gerishin. So the Gemara says, Pshita, it's definitely, it's Pashit, that what? Then Nasan la gitav amar Allah, le ishta harei at baschayir. If you tell your wife, that you're a Baschar and you're a free woman in the sense of a slave, like you're free to go out. You didn't say anything. Why? Because Baschar is something that's used by a slave, not by a wife. Omar, and so too on the opposite side. So, so too, Omar Lala Shavchasev, he tells his, his uh, maidservant, Harayat Muteras Chaladam, you mutter to marry anybody, Harayat Muteras Chaladam, Lama Vlaiklum. I mean, you didn't say anything. Why? Because it's not a lashon that you use for a maidservant, rather you use it for a wife, for a divorce. Amalala Ishtas. Now the Gemara wants to know uh, about a different case. Amalala Ishtas, Ariyat La'atzmech. If he tells his wife, you are to yourself, that means you have your independence. You're independent, you're on your own. Mao. Mi Amrina Lamalacha Kamala. Maybe he means that financially you're on your own. Or he means totally on your own, that means you're divorced. Amalala Ravina Lavrashi, Toshima. Come in here, the tiny. We learned in a brayse. A gufa shall get shikhr. What is a get shikhr? What's written in a get shikhr? That means when you want to send away a slave, what do you write inside the get? You write hayre ata ben chayrin. You are a free man. Like we learned before, that if you write you're a free man, then the slave is free. Hayre et laatzmecha. You are to your own, to yourself. You are independent. So now we see like this. This word hayre at laatzmecha, hayre at laatzmech is uh, not so clear if it's for uh, marriage or if it's for freedom of uh, slavery. It can be used for both. So we see clearly that it works for slavery. Right? We see clearly that it works, and this Bryce says that it works in a get shikhr. So the Gemara wants to know, does it work for a wife also? So the Gemara says, Hashta, we make a kavachim like this. If these words, Hashta, ma evit kanani de kanani legufe, if these words are strong enough, hareyat la atzmacha, if that's strong enough to free a slave, which his whole body is uh, belongs to this master, ki amale hareyat la atzmacha legamri kamale, 
When he says you are on your own, that means everything, every part of you, even your whole body is on your own, not just financially. Isha, the loikani legufa, a isha that he doesn't own the body. Loikol shkain, it definitely uh, should work uh, to bring her out of the, this uh, relationship. Okay, Amal Eravino, Eravashi, Amar Lav, the Ainli Eisikbach. Okay, so now we uh, understand that Reyad Latzmech, Reyad Latzmecha, that works for a wife. What about Ainli Eisikbach? I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't want to have any business with you. What is that? My. Me, I'm reading the Ainli Eisikbach Legamri. Does that mean for everything? That means he wants it to be um, totally on her own or his own. Um, and and I'm sorry, but it's going on a slave. Does it mean that he wants to be him to be totally on his own? That means that he's free. And the Eskabach, I don't want to have anything to do with you. That means that you're free. He means, listen, I'm not freeing you, but I don't want to have anything to do with you. That means you don't have to work for me anymore. I'll bring you a proof. I have a proof of what in the Eskabach does. What happens if somebody sells a slave to a guy, which you're not allowed to? And if you do, the slave goes out because you mevatel for mitzvahs, the slave goes out to free. Um, free. However, the slave needs a get shekher, a from the original Jewish uh, master. When does he need an original uh, a get shikher from the original master? That's only if he didn't write anything. But if originally when you write a star to sell the slave to the guy, then when he goes out of the guy's uh, rishos, he does not need another uh, get shikher. What's written in the Aina? What's written in the star that you give over to the the Gaish master? Omar of Shesh is the cause of law. Kishatibrach menu in the Eisikbach. He writes that I relinquish all my rights and I don't want to have anything to do with this slave, even if he runs away from you. So it means you write a star to a guy. I am selling to you, uh, John, the slave. And he's yours. And if he runs away from you, I relinquish all my rights. In the Eisikbach, I have nothing to do with it. So that's good enough. And we say that that works as a get shecher. So what do we see from here? We see clearly that in the Eisikbach is not just uh, some monetary obligation that you say that you don't want to have anything to do with him, that you don't want uh, him to work for you, or whatever it is. Rather, it's a full freedom, a full shecher. Okay. Amar Abayah. Hamikadosh b'milva. So the halacha is like this. The halacha is that when you're Makadash, a woman, you have to give her something. Now we have a klal. The klal is that if you uh, lend somebody money, we say milva leitzah nitna. That means that when I give somebody money, I lend them $100. Uh, the halacha is that the $100, it's not my $100 in your hands. Rather, uh, you have a responsibility, you have an obligation to pay back $100. But that 100 bucks is gone. It doesn't belong. It doesn't belong to me anymore. Uh, for instance, if I want back that dollar bill, exactly that bill, obviously I can't get it. And we don't see that there's a bill in your pocket that's mine. Rather, we see as the person has a responsibility to pay back. He has an obligation to pay back. So what happens like this? What happens if a man lends a woman money? And now she owes him money, and he says, you know what? Uh, you owe me a hundred bucks. Uh, for fifty dollars of that hundred dollars, um, um, you should become a kodeshes to me. The lacha is ain't a kodeshes. Why? Because uh, he didn't give her anything. There's nothing that he gave her. That money is her money. She has to get pay back. You know, all he did was he relinquished her, her his uh, right to to pull back, or he gave her he, gave, he took away the obligation of her to pull back. So he didn't give her anything. However, what happens if he says that uh, with Anov alone, we'll see later exactly what it means, with Anov alone, um, of, of, uh, of uh, being a vat of the loan, of relinquishing my, uh, your responsibility to pay back the loan, um, that is Mukudeshas. Okay, because at that point there's a no. That means, okay, we'll see clear what it means in a second. Um, however, you're not allowed to do that. Because when you have a loan and then you uh, give a no of a loan, of, um, of something of the loan, of adding something to the loan, so then that is. It looks like ribis. It's not full ribis. Ribis is if I lend you $100, you have to pay me back $110. This was I lend you $100 and you should become a Kodesh to me, which is a side uh, point. 
It just looks like ribbis. So the Gemara wants to know like this. How do you have a pleasure of a loan? What does that mean, the pleasure of the loan? That means they decided already, they uh, made up an amount to pay for the loan. The Amr Allah, what does that mean? The Amr Allah, Arba Bechamisha. He lent her, let's say, four dollars, four slain. And he said, you have to pay me back five. And now he went over to you and says, listen, you know, I want to make a deal with you. Instead of that fifth uh, seller, the fifth dollar that you have to pay me back, uh, for that money, you'll be uh, Mukadashas to me. So that is looks like ribis. So the Gemara says, what do you mean? It doesn't look like ribis. So ribis mali also. That's regular ribis. That means they, asked, they, 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 they made up a certain amount of money for the loan and a certain amount of money for the ribis. And instead of that ribis, she says, you're going to be Mukadashas to me. So that's 100% ribis. And besides, the Gemara says, that's the exact case of your being mavato, you're giving up of the loan that already is in her hands. So what do you gain? So Gemara says, You know what it means, really? What happens like this, I lent $100 for a month, and I go back and I say, you know what? Here, I let you keep the loan instead of for a month that you have to pay back now. I let you keep it for another month, and that pleasure that you have, that you don't have to pay back right now, that pleasure, you should be Mukadesh's to me. Okay? Does she want a guy like that? What? Does she want a guy like that? Yeah. Amar Rava, Helech mana depends how much the loan is. Amarava, Helech mana amana shetachzirehuli. What happens like this? You go to a, 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 a person and you say, "Here's a hundred dollars. I'm a nas that you give it back to me on condition that you give it back to me." So the question is, is that a good giving uh, for a sale for a kedushin? Is that considered giving or not? Why not? I gave I gave it over. Here's a hundred dollars on condition you give it back to me. So now it's yours. You just have to give it back to me. There's a condition. What's the difference if I give you a hundred dollars for rains tomorrow? Or I give you a hundred dollars. You have to give it back to me. What? What's the difference? When you have to do, right? Is this also you have to do? What happens? I give you a hundred dollars. You have to give it back to me. Or I give you a hundred dollars that it rains tomorrow. It doesn't rain tomorrow. You give it back to me. It's not a full-fledged giving. Why not? Okay, let's so see the Gemara. So, okay, you guys are saying unbelievable things. Let's see the Gemara. Amarava, heilach mana, amanas etachzireuli. Here's a mana, amanas, and conditionally you have to give it back to me. The mechah loikana. By a mechah by a sale it doesn't work, because as if I didn't give anything like Mendel said. Bishayin mekudashas. By a woman it doesn't work for kedushin. Bepidin ha'ben ain't benoi padi. Bepidin ha'ben, his son is not nifta. Betruma. Yatsa. However, Batruma does work. Yatsi the Nisina does work and uh, it's considered as if he gave. However, Vasilas King now to do it. Why Pneshanira Kakaina Masai Sagranis? It looks like wages for the kid to the Kain that works in the thresh uh, threshing floor. And that means that if I give it to you, I'm gonna ask you to give it back. So it looks like I didn't, really didn't give you anything, and the only reason why you got something is for your help. So the Gemara asks like this, Mikasov Arafa. I don't understand. Why should Truma be different than everything else? You tell me it works, it doesn't work for everything, but it works for Truma, but you shouldn't do it about Truma. What's going on here? My If you hold it, if you give a matana on Manas you give a matana on condition that you have to give it back, that is considered a matana that means that while it's in your hands, it's good. It's just it's a side thing. There is a condition that you have to give it back. So I feel a kulinami. Then in every single case it should be good. Why are you telling me that in all the cases it doesn't work besides truma? If you tell me that it doesn't work, that if you give something on condition you have to give it back, it's not considered matana. I feel the truma nami loy. So the truma shouldn't either work. So what's going on here? None of that we know from Rava holds from a different place that a matana on condition you have to give it back is considered a matana. How do we know that? If you give somebody an asterisk and the asterisk has to belong to him if you want to use it for the mitzvah of the lieu of an asterisk um, and you give a person an asterisk you say here this is yours on condition you give it back to me not if he fulfilled the condition Yatsa, then he fulfilled his mitzvah. Why? Because at the time of shaking the lulu of an esther, it was 100% his. All he had to do was fulfill the condition of giving him back. Vim Lav, if he didn't fulfill the condition of giving him back, so it comes out that he stole it, so then it's not a good, um, or it's not his at all, so it comes out, Mm, that it's not a good day. He didn't fulfill the mitzvah. Lo yatsi. He did not fulfill the mitzvah. Lo vanesik. So what's going on here? According to Rav, again, according to Rav, matana manas lahachzer is shma matana. So if it's shma matana, if you give a woman a hundred dollars, amanas she gives it back to her. So it works. Why? Because lemaisa gave it to her. 
The truth is, they all work besides for Isha. Why? Because really, it's it's Shema Matana. So if you give it on condition to give it back, it works. I by Isha, why it doesn't work? If you ain't Isha, Nikkunas Bechalipen. When you give a woman money that has to go right back, so it comes out that uh, that it's like Chalipen. Chalipen, you give something, it goes back. Also, it's not really giving over. So we learned before that Chalipen doesn't work. No, Chalik is Rashi and Taisa is why it doesn't work. Either according to Rashi, it's not a uh, Kavit. So, um, be, um, over here, it doesn't work either. If you say in it, it doesn't work either. We talk, uh, learned like you that it uh, works all over, not by Truma, rather by Truma works also. Rather, it doesn't work by Isha, just for a side issue of Chalipen. Atkan. Okay.